Welcome to the Zerg Tank Says. Now this, I have been sort of keeping track and timing my, my episodes, and I realised this is the 42nd episode to be released. I could have uploaded them in any order, because I've made like fucking 50 now, but this is the 42nd one, so it only seemed appropriate for me to, to start talking about the meaning of life, and uh, time to go to my script. Talking about the meaning of life does seem uh, pointless, you know, to enter into this making political, uh, to, to, to making philosophical discussions, because I already dismissed political discussion as being a pointless thing to talk, talk about, because uh, you have no control over politics, uh, and it all all it can do is upset you, you know, getting getting upset talking about uh, politics, and then philosophy just takes that to a whole new level where it's almost not even worth thinking about. Uh, but the main difference, I think, that is because it doesn't affect you physically in your daily life like politics do, uh, philosophy is something that you already know is beyond your control, you just accept it, because it's mainly a thought exercise anyway. Uh, you don't really have much to lose by thinking, as opposed to with politics, where being woken up just causes negativity. You know, getting the red pill is just, it's like, oh shit, the government is trying to oppress me uh, and control me. What do I do? You don't do anything, you just continue your daily life. Same thing with philosophy, I guess. Uh, another reason why I didn't want to get into these philosophical, pseudo intellectual discussions, because. Uh, other than because they're pointless, it's because it's just people discussing the same ideas and the same questions over and over again, trying to feel deep, and it doesn't help anyone ever. Uh, well, arguably it doesn't help anyone, it could help some people, like, I've found that, personally, when I uh, was shown, like, a bunch of philosophical stuff to do with Zen, and uh, when I start looking at things that... Uh, People like Athene, you know, Athene is, you, you give you have to give credit to him, you know, Athene wins, the best gamer in the world, that guy, uh, th I don't know how to pronounce his name, like Slavo Zizek, that guy, and um, all philosophers from basically all across the board, uh, Alan Watts, and um, every other kind of person who you just... You, you, you kind of have your your people you like and you dislike. You know, you got your favorites and whatever. But I found that there's comfort in this the that the idea that other people have thought what you've already thought, or they give you a new idea to think about, it makes you feel feel a little bit more enlightened for a second. Uh, the phrase that I like to use that I've used with my friends is mental masturbation. I'm sure we didn't come up with the term mental masturbation, but that's what it is. It's it's like it's just it's just, just this uh just nice little thing you can do to sort of pander to yourself, and it's mental masturbation's what it is. And uh, the other reason I didn't want to do philosophical discussion is because it gets to a point where you've probably already heard someone who is far more credible and respected than me saying the exact same things that I'm going to say in pretty much the same order as well. Uh, like, I'm gonna end up perpetuating all this ridiculous waffling, but I can't help it. It's fun to do, it's fun to think about the things, it's fun to talk about them, it's especially fun to discuss them with other people. Like, it's a shame that I can't have any guests on here, purely because my friends uh, really think that what I'm doing here is stupid. They think it's pointless. I think everything's pointless, so, so, so that's my stance on it, I might as well do this because if everything is pointless then why not do this? I enjoy doing this and I feel if I'm not going to kill myself, if I'm not going to kill myself and end my life, I might as well do things that I enjoy and I get fun out of this so that's why I'm doing this. Um, it's entertaining and it's interesting. Philosophy, not me. I, I'm trying to get to that point. I don't want to degrade myself and just say negative things because, you know, I know I am 
probably entertaining to some people, but I know I can do better. I'm trying to do that. And I'm going to start that by reading uh, from some scripts that I wrote about philosophical implications of artificial, artificial intelligence, biologically engineering the human race, and uh, some other things like that based on based on like heavily based on a documentary I just watched before writing it which is just like a, some fan edit thing someone's taken a bunch of clips and then edited them together it's called like the singularity is near I'll have a link to it in the description of that video that I make there if it still exists on YouTube it probably doesn't because uh, the video was made up of sources from a bunch of other different videos and it was only referenced in a sort of really weird way that can still be flagged for copyright on YouTube so it probably got taken down I the, the copy that I watched was um, I don't want to say I downloaded a copy of it illegally because I this is naughty don't download stuff. Be a be a good person.